To some degree, almost everything on planet Earth is dependent upon water. Since water is scarce in desert areas, the creatures there have been equipped with the means of obtaining the hydration they need. Other, introduced species depend more heavily on moisture than their native counterparts, and their lives become an ongoing game of risk, forcing them to move from water to water. I'm Miguel Caldera, and today we're looking for the infant form of an amphibian with a very big mouth. Now when you think of the desert, you probably don't think of a creature with smooth wet skin that is dependent upon water, as the hot sun and desiccating winds would quickly dehydrate it. And yet, not only are they here, they're thriving. The creature we're looking for today begins its life by feeding on algae and other plant matter. But as it grows into its adult form, it will eat almost anything it finds. Whether it's a rat, a crawfish, a snake, a frog, or a tarantula, or anything in between. This creature can also be heard droning at night in a very low pitch. If you thought that we're looking for the American bullfrog, you're right. Let's go find some tadpoles. Native to the eastern United States, the American bullfrog was introduced to the West Coast in the late 1800s. These creatures like to live in rivers, lakes, ponds, and canals, preferring still or calm waters. We're here at a mostly dried up pond. Now you might think, Miguel, as dry as this ground is, can you find any life at all? Well, I can assure you that inside this nasty looking water, we're going to find what we're looking for. Bullfrog tadpoles. Now one thing to keep in mind is that not all water is safe to get into. So today I brought a net with me as I don't really want to get into this water. And I'll show you why as we get along in this episode. There's something in here that I don't want anywhere near me. We'll get to that in a little bit. Right now, we're gonna catch a tadpole. You ready? Let's try again. Not what I'm looking for. Ugh. One more time. There he is. Got a couple of them. Let's just back up out of here real quick. All right. That's what we're looking for right here. This is the American Bullfrog Tadpole. An interesting fact about these guys is that, see this tail here? If it's broken off by a predator, it can actually regenerate it. And these guys are gonna be prey for lots of things like herons, wrens, ravens, raccoons, and various other predators, so they have to be pretty quick. This here is what they're dependent upon so that they can move around. I'll get you a little bit closer, we can take a look at their legs. Another interesting fact about these guys is that 
while most other frogs will take just a few months to grow from tadpole to adulthood, these guys can take anywhere from one to two years, making them the biggest baby in the pond. But predation isn't the only threat. The environment in which they live sometimes poses a danger of itself. This tadpole got tangled in the weeds and likely died from exposure to the sun's heat. These guys are going to live here most of their lives in their juvenile state. They'll actually begin uh, trying to find another place to live. And as a juvenile, they can travel up to seven miles between ponds. That's seven miles over dry land in this hot, arid environment. That's pretty amazing. Let's get this guy back into the water. Now I mentioned earlier that you don't want to just jump into any water that you find. And here's why. I'm just going to take a scoop of this mud here. Let's... There we go. And let's just put it on the ground here. And we're going to sort it out. And we're going to see what we find. Parasites, and lots of them. These worms can bore through your skin, make their way to an artery, and then find their way to your digestive tract, where they intend to live the rest of their lives. While there, they can lay anywhere from 200 to 2,000 eggs a day, which would certainly wreak havoc on your health. While enjoying nature near water, be sure to look for indicators or any signs that would help you determine whether the water is safe to enter. While catching tadpoles with the kids during the heat of summer may be fun, catching a parasite would not be. The bullfrog tadpole, an interesting little creature. I love them or hate them, they do play an important part to our ecology. Until next time, I'm Miguel Caldera. Get out and enjoy your hunt for nature. Ancient cultures treasured pure water as much as modern cultures treasure accurate information, and the two are linked in an ancient proverb. The words of a man's mouth are deep waters. The wellspring of wisdom is a flowing brook. As we obtain and exercise accurate information concerning the natural world, it will better equip us to interact with nature in a way that will be beneficial to it and to us.